Daniel Bigelow. Today is Friday, May 27th, 2005. And now, from McKinley Studios, here is Kid TV. Everybody, live, McKinley. <laughs> so we can be fantastic readers. Yeah, the more vocabulary we know, the more you can understand. Phantasmagorical. What? That means fantastic. Oh, well, let's get on with the quiz. Okay, uh, you need to see if you're a word wizard. We'll be popping up during the show to quiz you. Good, Good luck. luck. Hi, I'm Ryan Ferrero. This was another busy year here at McKinley. Kelly Bigelin and I are here to recap some of the most exciting McKinley moments. Fitting in with our school theme this year, Super Size Your Vocabulary with McKinley McWords, the whole school got, got books. My favorite book is Curious George. My favorite book is Where the Wild Things Are. My favorite book is Matilda. Did you ever see over 300 kids walking down the street? Well, that's what happened in downtown Westfield when all of McKinley School took a field trip to see Polar Express at the Rialto Theater. Another big event at McKinley School this year was McKinley Capers, the big, big, big production our school puts on every year. This year's theme was sesquipedality, the use of big words.
4 through 5th, you saw the whole Capers crew with blue hair. The Capers crew includes 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade students, and of course, the Daddios, the Blues Mothers, and the Grandma and Pop Pops. There was a total of 183 people in Capers this year. Now let's check in with Alexa and the famous birthdays. Hi, I'm Alexa Geltzala here with famous birthdays in May. On May 6th, baseball legend Willie Mays was born. This athlete played for the New York Giants. Get out of here, Willie. On May 12, Florence Nightingale was born. She was most remembered as a pioneer of nursing and cleaning methods. Also on May 12, pro skater Tony Hawk was born. You may know him from seeing him or one of his many video games. Get on up, dude! Grind it, man! Later, Tony. Finally, on May 24, Queen Victoria was born. She ruled England from 1838 to 1901. That's one long leadership. Well, that's it for Famous Birthdays in May. I'm Alexa Geltziler, and here's Will Hogg with McKinley Birthdays in May. Fragrance. When I spring, certainly this flower smell like fragrance. Which definition is it, McKinley Kids? Is it A, something that smells good or bad? Or B, something that smells weird? Or C, a sweet, pleasant, or fruity smell? And which one is it? The answer is C. A sweet, pleasant, often flowery or fruity smell. Good job, Word Wizards. Hi, my name is Will Hogg, and I'm here to announce the Kimmy Birthdays in May. May 27th is Gianni Pacholotis for the day. Gianni is from 4-2. He's a typical fourth grader that likes to read and play video games. Saturday, May 28th, is the birthday for Ryan Kapoor from 1-3. Sunday, May 29th, is the birthday for DJ Cummings. He's from 4-1. He's funny and likes to play hockey. Monday, May 30th, is Memorial Day this year and Andrew Abuse's birthday. He's a boy from 4'2", he likes cats and he's athletic. Happy birthday again. Now back to John and Nikki for puppet making. Hey Nikki the Kids, I'm Nikki Cruz. And I'm John Zabaya. So we're going to show you three types of puppets. The first puppet we're going to show you how to make is the marionette puppet. All you need to make this puppet is a styrofoam cone, a little t-shirt, a toothpick, and a styrofoam ball. You put the toothpick in the body so you can connect them. Then you get two pipe cleaners, one for the arms and one for the headband. And you can use the, anything for the face and the shoes. The final thing you need is a popsicle stick and a piece of string so you can hold it up and move it around. And that's how you make the marionette puppet. The second puppet we're going to show you how to make is a sock puppet. The things you need for the sock puppet are a sock, an oval shaped piece for the mouth, a piece of fabric for the shirt, and a piece of fabric cut into a tie for his tie. The last thing you need is two buttons for his eyes. And that is how you make the sock puppet. The final puppet you're going to make is the paper bag puppet. All you need for this to make this puppet is a paper bag, some foam paper, and a cup. You glue the cup to the paper. You cut out your hands for antlers. And that's how you make the um, paper bag puppet. 
Hey, anyone want to dance? Let's boogie. You drive us wild, we'll drive you crazy. You say you want to go for a spin. The party's just begun, we'll let you in. You drive us wild, we'll drive you crazy. You keep on shouting, you keep on shouting. Here's what you need to make an American fried cake. Blue food dye for the background. Fresh strawberries for the red stripes. Cool whip for the white stripes. And, and sugar stars. Take the cool whip and spread, spread, spread. Then draw a box for the blue background. Take the blue food dye and squirt, squirt, squirt. Then mix, mix, mix. Now that it's nice and blue, spread it on the cake. Take a wooden spoon and draw the red stripes. Then take strawberries and cover the stripe. Finally, add the sugar stars. And here's your patriotic cake. Triumphant. After Westfield won the championships in basketball, everyone was triumphant. Triumphant. A. Rejoicing celebrating a victory or success. B. Very sad or put down. C. Very loud or obnoxious. Triumphant. The answer is A. Rejoicing or celebrating a victory or success. I'm feeling a little nervous. How is our beautiful pianist, Katie Tang, from class 1-3? I'm feeling a little scared. Last but not least, Dan Bigelow, our stylish singer. How are you doing? Well then, all of you out there got to watch and listen very carefully. One of them is going to get voted off. Good luck, you three. <laughs>
good. I was good. Yo, yo, yo. You really represent. You tickle the ivories. Top two. Top two. Mm -hmm. Katie, you were terrific. You were the best. I'm telling you. I knew from the beginning. You were the one. You're the American Idol for this year. You're terrific. Have you finished? <laughs> I thought she was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was bloody lovely. Word. That's all? I mean, she was fantastic. I thought she was great. Mm -hmm. There are no words left. <laughs> D-O double G. Represent. You are a star. You're a star. I'm gonna see you in Los Angeles. That was bloody lovely. Bloody lovely. Oh, Simon, you're silly. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, gotta get ready. Okay, I'm ready. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up. There's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Oops. <laughs> Where troubles melt like lemon drops. Bluebirds uh, fly beyond the rainbow. Why, oh, why can't I? We're going to stop you right there. That was, well, awful. It was so good! It was um, so good! Dog. Yes! I'm bloody yes. speechless! It was good! Dog, I wasn't feeling you as much in that one. It was a little pitchy, little pitchy. It was good. Have you ever heard cats in the alleyway? fighting over the food. They would win American Idol before you. It was bloody awful! Oh, Get off Simon, the stage! So no. no, no, you're good. Now it's up to you voters. Make sure you vote. All right, out. Hi, I'm Jake Harris. And I'm Lorna. This year's school theme is reading the vocabulary. As you know, the more you read, the better your vocabulary becomes. Ms. Andreski made a school law for me and my kids to read 10,000 books. And if we read all those 10,000 books, Miss Andreski will dye her hair blue. Jake sat down with Miss Andreski to ask her a few questions about this hair and I'm with Mrs. Andreski, the best principal in Westfield. Hi, Mrs. Andreski. Hi, Jake. How are you today? Fine, thanks. How are you? Well. <laughs> May I please ask you a few questions about this year's reading goal? I'd be delighted. Okay. How did you come up with this 10,000 book goal? Well, I feel very, very important for children to read a lot of books because they gain vocabulary and they also learn to read much more quickly. And as they progress through the grades, they're going to need to know how to read a lot, a lot of books. So this is good practice. Wow. I hear this year you're going to dye your hair blue if we read 10,000 books. Yes, that's very true. I thought blue is a lovely color for spring. Are you nervous about dyeing your hair blue? No, because I like lots of color in my life, and I figure blue is a very nice color. It matches the sky. It's also an incentive because everybody seems to want me to dye my hair blue. I don't understand it. They're very excited about it. Do you think the 10,000 book goal encourage others to read more? Oh, I think it has already. 
my goodness, we're over 8,000 already. Yeah. And children are just handing in those orange papers every single day to me. And it gets me so excited when I see them all reading such wonderful books. Thank you, Mrs. Andreski. You're quite welcome. Go right back to you, Lauren, with some information about me tonight. I'm Lauren Embrett, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Reading Night. Family Reading Night was held on Thursday, January 20th, 2005. Our theme this year was characters, and we wanted everyone to know that we learn a lot from what characters think, do, and say. Parents and students participated in an activity where they used adjectives to describe familiar Winnie the Pooh characters. When we were finished, everyone went to hear a book by a parent or teacher volunteer. The night was a huge success. Everyone had a great time and we raised a lot of money with the used book sale. The purpose of Reading Night is to get everyone together and enjoy a fun night of reading. We also wanted parents to, and students to be aware of the importance of reading. It was a great night of reading and fun. We decided to ask two kids some questions about reading. Hi, I'm Melissa hey. Metzger. You look nice today. Thank you. Now, Lou, what's your favorite book? The Fit Book. Why? Because it's funny and it's made by Dr. Seuss. Where's your favorite place to read? On my bed. What? Lauren? I'm here with Tyler Monaco. Uh, Tyler, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is The Swiss Family Robinson by Johann David West. And why is that your favorite book? It's my favorite book because it's very adventurous and um, has a lot of adventure in it. <laughs> uh, what, where's your favorite place to read? I like to read at my desk. Or I'm Jake Harris. And I'm Lauren Embrett. And we're signing off from Kid TV. Now we're the Molly Coven and Caitlin Fry with Fifth Grade Memories. A blaze. There is a reason that you don't play with matches. One child can set a house ablaze from being careless. Ablaze. Is it A, quiet, B, on fire or greatly excited, or C, mad or sad about something? Do you know the answer, Word Wizards? The correct answer is B, on fire or greatly excited. Good, good job. Hi, I'm Coven. And I'm Caitlin Fry. This, this is, is the McKinley, McKinley Memory, Memory segment. We will be interviewing fifth graders for their McKinley Memories. This is John Dedea. John, what's your memory from first grade? My first grade memory was when I was with Mrs. Christopher, and I brought my baby sister in for show and tell. I taught them how to feed a baby. Did you teach them how to change her diaper? No way. Thanks, John. Here's Gabby Panarisi. Can you tell us about your second grade memory? My second grade memory is when Mrs. Bredick threw up in the garbage can. Ew. <laughs> Did you have homework that night? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. This is Kelly Biglin. Kelly, what's your third grade memory? My third grade memory is when I was in Mrs. Barca's class. She was having a baby, so we made her a baby alphabet book. When she started reading it, she started crying and had to stop. Wow. 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 This is Nikki Cruz. Can you tell us about your fourth grade memory? My fourth grade memory was when I went up to Mr. Paradise with a fake nose ring and he fell for it. It was so funny. Thanks, Nikki. This is Amanda. Amanda, what's your fifth grade memory? My fifth grade memory is when Mrs. Daly and Mrs. Cook's class went to Sandy Hook. It poured and poured, and we got soaking wet. It was also feeding. When we got back, we had hot chocolate and cookies. Jake, Joe, and Alex had to wear Mrs. Daly's old clothes. It was really funny that day. Thanks, Amanda. Here's Jake Harris with his fifth grade memory. My fifth grade memory is every Friday in Mrs. Daly's class, we have Rock and Roll Friday. It looks like an awesome. <laughs>
have something to show you. Oh my God! It's this huge! I gotta tell somebody!
all the papers that you gave me all the way from September with all your books that you read, all 10,259. And since Dr. Foley is a very important man, I think you should have it, don't you? Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Summer's coming soon. But remember what Miss Andreski said. Work hard and do your best. There's still a month left. I'm here with Mrs. Andres, the best place in the world. And I'm Caitlin Fry. Just the Best, I'm telling you, I knew from the beginning, you were the one. You're the American Idol for this year. You're terrific. Have you finished? I thought she was fantastic. Mm -hmm. That was bloody lovely. Well, that's all? I mean, she was fantastic. I thought she was great. Mm -hmm. No words left. Thanks so much. I'm going to go. i to go. This year's school food is really a vocabulary. As you know, the, the more you read, the better your vocabulary is. The girl and Miss Miley. Oh, she's a star. I think we've gotten the way. I'm just surprised you didn't mess up. 
Yo, 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 you really represent, you took up the ivories, top two, top two. Mm -hmm. Another big event at McKinley School this year was McKinley, McKinley. Oh, oh, sorry. Just kidding, he's artwork. Look at that, it's too much for artwork. <laughs> <laughs> this is Becca's class when she was having a baby. We made her an alphabet baby. Troubles melt like lemon drops. Alright. Go suck to me now. <laughs> I'm doing a video. You're what? Yes. Here's Jake Harris with his fifth grade memory. I fifth grade memory. Three, two, one. We'll take you. One. She can teach kindergarten. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, this year's school theme is really low vocabulary. As you know, the more you read, the better you will that you. I'm Jay Cares. And I'm Lauren Ember. And we're signing off from the TV. <laughs> if happy little blue birds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? <laughs> Good girl and Miss Mary, you sure like a ball. 